everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video i hope that you're doing great and we're going to be taking a look at what is happening for disturbance 92l so that disturbance off the african coast is now designated as an invest and over in the eastern pacific uh there is potential tropical cyclone 16 and uh, there is likely to be tropical storm conditions bearing down in parts of Mexico and additionally there's also Lydia which is likely to eventually prompt some watches and warnings so we'll be taking a look at these systems and of course we're kickstarting things looking at the Atlantic and here you can see on satellite that there isn't a whole lot happening this morning there's the disturbance and uh, across the Caribbean there is some shower and thunderstorm activity which is expected to grow in association with a tropical wave which is moving through so uh, let's briefly talk about that disturbance so as to look at the latest update from the nhc we're seeing that there is now a high 80 percent chance of formation so that chance has slightly increased uh so by the middle of the week headed to the latter part of the week we're likely to see this becoming a tropical depression maybe even a tropical storm but imminent formation such as in the next day or two is not expected of this as if there's only a 30 percent chance of seeing something develop in the next two days but we're seeing that the system is likely to curve up again there isn't a dominant high pressure system out there to steer this continuously toward the west so we'll find that it is going to be making that curve as it develops or as it attempts to develop into something and currently there isn't a whole lot of model data available but as it relates to the intensity guidance we can see that all the available models right now are expecting that it will become a tropical storm and three of the five are expecting that it will make it to hurricane status so we'll see what it decides to do currently as we take a look at this dry air map we can see that there isn't much dry air affecting the system right now which is the reason those thunderstorms are able to thrive it's in a moist and unstable environment so lots of showers and thunderstorms develop and associated with the system and overall conditions are expected to be conducive to allow for that development as we head into the coming days but as we take a look further west headed toward the west Western part of the main development region and the Eastern Caribbean, we can see that there is some dry air in the area. So that is kind of helping to stabilize weather conditions. So we find that there isn't a whole lot of rainfall for some areas, but there could still be some showers here and there across sections of the uh, Northeastern islands of the Caribbean. So let's zoom in on the satellite imagery, then we'll be looking at the rainfall forecast. As I said, there are a couple of showers and thunderstorms developing associated with the tropical wave moving through. And uh, it is likely that as we're going to be heading through today we're going to be seeing all this activity growing and affecting areas such as jamaica so uh, that is something that i have been talking about for some time across some spots in central america there is some thunderstorm activity maybe even some heavy rainfall this morning let's now go on to the rainfall forecast this is from the euro and as it becomes more colorful a lot more rainfall activity is expected especially as we head to those burgundies and those purples as seen down in colombia and as we saw earlier there is some activity within the area so across most of central america there could be some periods of very heavy rainfall which may trigger flooding sections of mexico guatemala belize el salvador honduras nicaragua costa rica panama and then down in northern south america colombia and some portions of venezuela especially in the western side of the country as we head to the guyanas though we're not seeing anything too colorful here so there might not be any substantial rainfall activity across the area same story as we head up into trinidad and tobago and for the ab see as maybe a passing shower or thunderstorm late uh, through the rest of today and then as we head to the windward islands including barbados we're not seeing much expected either but further up to the leeward islands heading to dominica going up to guadalupe and further up all the way to anguilla even for the virgin islands and portions of eastern uh puerto rico there might be some passing showers here and there overall that rainfall chance is low but there's a possibility of some shower activity for some areas as we head over to hispaniola for most of the Dominican Republic which is not expected but again for southern Haiti as we head to Jamaica especially eastern parishes and even in portions of eastern Cuba there could be some substantial rainfall activity as a result of that tropical wave uh, for the rest of Cuba going to central and western Cuba Cayman Islands even for the northern Yucatan which is not expected today as we head up into parts of South Florida there might be some rainfall here and there same story for sections of the Bahamas and even near the Turks and Caicos Islands 
now we want to go ahead and hop over in the eastern pacific where we've got our two systems potential tropical cyclone 16 as well as tropical storm lydia let's go on to the satellite imagery and here we can see both of these systems so there is lydia offshore and uh, there is potential tropical cyclone 16 so it's likely to become a tropical storm late today and the next name to be used for the season is max but at this point regardless of it becoming a tropical uh, cyclone or not a tropical depression a tropical storm it is going to be bringing those dangerous conditions to portions of southwest mexico and it is designated as a potential tropical cyclone because it is nearing that status tropical storm conditions are expected even though the system in and of itself has not attained tropical storm status just yet so that tropical storm watch is in place because such conditions are expected but currently the system is sustaining winds around 30 miles per hour at the maximum and moving to the northwest at 7 miles per hour so right there is that tropical storm watch which is in effect for portions of mexico so from acapulco to punta san telmo so these areas are likely to experience tropical storm conditions within about 48 hours uh, those tropical storm force winds that storm surge the heavy rainfall as well and all this is going to be moving inland so it's not just the warning uh the watch area which will eventually be upgraded to a warning that will experience those conditions areas around are likely to experience some of that heavy rainfall as well which can trigger that flooding and the mudslides as well and then as we head to lydia here we can see that it is moving very very slowly so lydia is only moving toward the north northwest at two miles per hour so it's making that curve of course and it is is expected to intensify into a hurricane it's slightly strengthened since last evening's update uh, that i made but it is not yet at hurricane status it is expected to make landfall as a hurricane though a weak hurricane hopefully it manages to weaken a bit more before that uh but uh, eventually we'll see some watches and warnings being in place again for other sections of the pacific coast of mexico as lydia is going to be making its way by and then whatever is left of it could move over into the gulf let's take a look at what a few models have to show so this is gfs as we head into Wednesday of this week there we see that disturbance 92L trying to develop we're seeing uh, GFS showing development but take a look at all those low pressure areas out there we're not seeing that dominant high so the system is likely to curve up but there we see all that moisture increase across the Gulf and even a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity can uh, result in some impacts and I'm going pretty far out here but this is to the end of the model run and take a look at this I have been watching GFS for some time now it is showing quite a bit of moisture increased at one point showing that we could see some development in and around the caribbean later this month we're seeing all this moisture here so pretty interesting that's something to talk about in the future though as we head to euro there we can see that euro is also showing all that increase in activity likely coming from a uh, current potential tropical cyclone 16 and not lydia there we have whatever is left off lydia making its way further into mexico and by this time the model is not expecting that we'll see much become of uh, 92L. So we definitely have to wait and see guys but of course I'm here to keep you posted. One thing for sure are those tropical storm conditions, those dangerous conditions, mudslides, landslides, flooding in portions of Mexico as a result of both of these systems. So I will keep you posted and stay tuned for my next updates coming later today. Again there could be that increase in rainfall activity which might trigger flooding across portions of Jamaica, potentially for eastern Cuba and southern Haiti. So uh, that is it for now and I I hope you found this video to be quite informative. If you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I can. And remember to always be weather wise.